Uh, What's going on here? Stuff. A whole lot of nothing. It's St. Patrick's Day, bruh. Where's your green, bro? Where's my what? You get a pinch. Oh, 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 I gotta get you. I gotta get you. Oh. I'm gonna get Arthur. All right, so today we're gonna be pulling the short block and transmission out of the Cheeto to make room for the new M50. So this is gonna be fun. Everything is disconnected aside from the engine mounts, the trans mounts, and then I think there's like one connection on the transmission that needs to come out. Check this beauty out though. Ooh. Condor Speed Shop, weighted tall boy. Ooh. Shout out to the boy Steven for hooking me up with this shift knob. It is freaking beautiful. When I first saw this knob, I wasn't really a fan because it's like super tall, but after driving Palin's car and he had the same knob, I actually really liked it and I've wanted to get one since. But the only thing that I don't really like about these knobs is Condor like usually like shit posts their whole logo on here and I'm not a fan of that. But this combo, this color combo with the freaking, oh, this thing is beautiful. I'm in love. That shift knob is ace. I was rocking a CA2 and Delrin shift knob for a while. Boy, boy. And that thing is here. But honestly, this shift knob was kind of a piece of junk. The sticker fell off twice and it never really sat perfectly in there. So I'm just kind of disappointed. Just I'm just kind of, I'm just, <laughs> so I'm disappointed though, bro. With the, how, this is going to be the shift knob for the Cheetah though. I'm just letting you know that right now. So that's sick. Big shout out to my boy Steven for hooking me up with that. That's freaking key. I, I've wanted to buy one for a very long time. They're just expensive, brand new. All right, Josh, your boy, I'm putting you on front end tear down. I love the front end. I prefer it from the front, not the back. So you need to get these two nuts off and then there's two nuts under there. I'm gonna pop that trim piece off right now. Let's get him a zippy boy. Oh, hell yeah, thank you, sir. See, this thing makes life so much easier, dude, right? That's what I'm so saying. So much easier. Dude. You didn't bring it to the junkyard with us, and I was like, bro. <laughs> right? Fixed it. Was there anything holding this thing on the inside? No, I took all this shit off. I had this whole front end off already, pretty much. So it's just okay. a couple things. So the bumper. So pull the bumper off. You can do the honors. Oh wow! Look at that. That's what I'm saying. We might have to pull the faceplate off of the radiator support. So there are two bolts here, yeah, Danny. Two, of you, two. two bolts over there and two bolts over there for that one. Doesn't look like it, uh, I think that was broken. Why are you breaking stuff, though? No, that was already there. All right, well, fuck it. Hey, man, come on. That, that. <laughs> 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 I've never taken a radio support with the headlights on. That's so fucking weird. All right, well, there this she is. is. This is my first front end off of the car. Really? Yeah. It's because you weren't here for the bucket build. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna milk Woo! that, bro. I'm just gonna milk it. Now to get the engine hoist out. Look, dude, Levi donated his old M3 radiator. So we got a rad for it for free, pretty Woo! much. Yeah. It's alive! She needs a good polish and wax. She'll look good. Yeah, she needs a lot more than that. Needs some ding repair. <laughs> You're in the car, bro. What do you want I'm sorry. In? It's time to go. Yeah. You want to take it off with the trans? He's going to donate that too. I'm going to pull it out with the trans and then I want to pop the trans off. The... Okay. Because he's going um, he's, he's to take the automatic trans class with chemo. I'm a donor trans again. That's, that's, that's a good fucking letter. Kimo's fucking excellent. Yeah, dude, the, the trans from the the little wing is the trans that got me a half letter bump. I need to figure out how we're going to mount this. I have kind of an idea. Four head bolts, head washers, and we're going to do that thing. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So we'll see if this works. We just got so much shit hanging around here. So Quinny here, draining the oil. Yeah, I need to do an oil change in my car soon. Dude, both of my cars are due for oil changes, bro. My wallet's hurting. You might have to take the hood off, but we'll see. Hello. 
Hello. Checking out the tranny. Oh, yeah. hey, how are you? It's stopped. You want to put on the jack stand? Oh. <laughs> oh, there she goes. She's sweating again. It's going to leak the lint because you're so cold. Oh, yeah, give me a jack stand yeah. if you have something or something, a piece of wood. All right, so the trans is ready to. The trans is completely out. We just got to pull this mother. There you go. Try pull it. I'm guiding you. Oh, the power steering pulls is getting flat. Oh, okay. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you did a spread too. That shit was wet, dude. Go wipe your ass. Blame Golden Corral. That's where you went this morning? Yesterday. Oh my god. It's pretty crusty. Success. Looks like a freaking spaceship. <laughs> yeah, she's a lots of length. Is it the same same trans that goes into the, the six cylinder ones or no? Uh, I don't think so. Cause it's cause what I saw online, all the transes for three eighteens were like this, and they were all auto. It might be the same. It would be different. I'm not sure. I think it's a different trans. It looks sure bigger. It looks longer. It might be. I don't know. I don't fuck with auto stuff. So I just ripped them out. Damn. Let the engine disassembly begin. Can you use the weight of the motor as leverage? Yeah, right. Oh! 318 alternator, baby. There it is, harness it up. Ooh, that harness is so much harder to take off than the freaking the. Dude, that harness is annoying because it like goes right <laughs> through the fucking manifold, and it makes it harder to get the manifold off. Mm -hmm. right. It's really only two. Is it just there for support? Those two failed and these ones come back in. Come in clutch. That's true. Oh yeah. It's the thing about buying used cars or whatever, you know, you never know what you're actually getting until you tear <laughs> it down. Rebuild the engine pretty much. Yo dip dippy sticky. Yo dippy sticky. more weight. Let's not go back in the car. <laughs> I know. Dude, look how gunked up that is. <laughs> this shit was leaking oil mad from somewhere, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get the torque converter bolts. It spins though. All right, so stop it when it gets to a torque converter bolt. You going off? Yeah, yeah I'm going off. Put a 14 on a long extension and then slide that over the end of the ratchet. I did that at school and they were like, I've never thought about doing that before. Yeah, you know, my buddy actually showed me like last week. There it is. Just start on the little buzz gun and. Yeah, here. Yeah. Rippy dippy. Me and Arthur fight. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Bring it down. There we go. You can drop the socket in there. Ooh. 
You don't have any jack stand? <laughs> Dude, that looks super weird. I was thinking we put a jack stand at the back of the trans. We put a jack stand on the front of the trans, lower the whole thing down so the engine will be weighted by the crane. We take it all off and so the trans will be sitting on the stands and then we just pull the engine and lift it up away from it. You know what I mean? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> it literally right. went in one ear. <laughs> like I heard it all. So we put a stand on the back of the trans, another stand on the front of the trans, take off the trans, and then just jack the short block up. So it'll just be, let's get all of them off except for this one, those two, and then the one on the side over here somewhere, that one. Oh, free, baby! Little baby M42, bro. Wiggle it back and forth. I think it's RTV, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus, dude, that's way too much. You want to put the standy boy on there? Yeah. Check that they're 19s, though. They might be 18s. Yeah. That's what I just said. <laughs> It's like piss. Yeah, it is coming out the piston, bro. It's coming out of the piston? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that shit's off. Put some fat tape around it. And I guess we should start prepping the shit for power washing. Okay. So I'll start picking up hardware. Is that for the power steering? Yeah. And will that hook right up to our pump, you think? Uh, I hope so. We all messed off? I think so. All right, you gonna get that set up, Arthur? Yeah. Uh, let's put the auto trans over there. Can help me with that, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> you can see it like dripping off, dude. Mm -hmm. Taking it with it. Oh, we'll just rip that out, dude. Yeah. You don't need that. Well, that's what I was asking earlier if you wanted to keep or not. We can just rip it out. I mean, if it's in good shape, we can just make it work, but if not, it's just sound deadening. It's not even a heat shield. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't need that. So you'll just it's hear, a race car. Yeah, though. you'll just hear the trans a little bit more. I would try and clean up by like the sway bar mounts right there. That's where all the freaking heavy oil got in there. I think cleaned up pretty good. A bunch of timing cover bolts already missing. We didn't even take those off. Those were just missing. 
So there's a bunch of timing bolt, timing cover bolts that are already missing. Really? Like yeah, dude. We didn't take any of those off. Mm -mm. And we didn't take that off. Oh, that one's all. Yeah, shit. It's like we gotta buy a hardware kit. Bro, that was already loose. No wonder this thing was leaking, bro. But the freaking chassis cleaned up nice. Damn. How loose is that? That's nice. <laughs> In the bling. Bling one. Move, move bin. Move bin. Nice and green. Hey, there's still a bunch of oil in this. Yeah. Wait, where the fuck is the oil pump? Oh, is it in there? Yeah. What? How does it pump? What? How does that work? Oh, I wonder if it's integrated in the pan down there. It is. Like that's the pickup and the pump is probably inside there. Inside here. Oh yeah, it is. Look yeah. right here. Here's the hole. Yeah, you can see the pickup, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. We just washed that whole <laughs> Alright. So it's been fun having this M42, but we are gonna be donating this thing to the local community college that me and Danny and Arthur and Alex go to. Used to. Used to go to. Rip. Rip. <laughs> So we're gonna <laughs> So we're gonna put the cylinder head back on it. I think we might throw the valve cover back on it and then might as well. Yeah, take it down there. So I don't know. I kinda wanna put the cam gears on, but I kinda also wanna keep the hardware because I'm a hardware hound for it. So I don't know. Just buzz until it starts. Just move it around. That's not the way to install head head studs, I'm just saying. Just drill it in, yeah, bro. Yeah, you wanna just fucking buzz them all down, dude. Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter if we do them in a certain pattern. There's no head gaskets, so it doesn't fucking matter. This thing's toasted anyways, so. This thing could drop on the ground and be fine. But you, Toasty. you are putting the front end back together. Let's do it. Uh, there's, your, there's your radiator support. So that's going to go on first. Don't worry about that. So you want to get the, the bottoms lined up on the, on the threads. Nice. Don't get yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna have a bolt that goes through here, that way, okay. and then another one on the other side. Goes through, and it's gonna go into here, and we'll just put that that much on for now. But it's not gonna sit out there unless you have the hardware ready to thread in by hand, and that's pretty much all we'll do for now. Cause this whole thing is gonna come back off when we put the M50 back in. So I'm not, you know, if everything's held on by three or four bolts, I really don't care. Is that just like bolting a nut? What? Or a screw in a nut, I guess? No, it's, this this little bracket thing is what it threads into. Oh. You'll see what I mean. Huh? That shit looks broken as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, it's in the trunk, dude. Zip yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. There's so much shit. Yeah, so grab your hardware first, Alex. I uh, know, I'm just trying to pull it off. Yeah. There's, there's actually two bolts in there. There's two bolts right here, and there's a bolt down there that holds this whole thing on. But. All right, so we were letting the camera charge for a little while, but we're pretty much dialed in and about to wrap it up for the day. So Alex finished the, put the front end back on. Aside from that, this thing is ready to go, ready to be donated so other people can learn how to do stuff like this. Build drift cars. Build drift cars. Parting words, Danny, for the, for the build sesh today. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this bumper's been repainted before. Oh, for sure. By him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the guy did it. I wouldn't be surprised. But it it's, like, clean. it's like super faded right here, too. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. It's got an E30 or, uh, or E36M3. I can't get over it. The steering rack. Good. Yeah, dude. That pressure washer puts in work. We're almost, we're almost ready for M50 stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need a few more little parts. A couple little things here and there. What do you think of all this, Alex? Because you weren't here. Yeet!
Dreaming in the dark, we are nothing more than dust.